Okay, hold them out again, real quick. Hold that. I'm in my zone doing what I do, loving the fight, loving the train, loving the cameras. Y'all see me shining, feeling good, looking good. Uh, happy Fighter is a dangerous fighter, and y'all know y'all see this glow on me. So I'm, I'm excited about what we're going to do June 10th. I'm excited about the opponent and everybody that's going to be fighting and put on their show. It's going to be a fun time. We had a Bulls photo shoot, and we had a little tattoo cream top photo shoot, a little sponsorship on the East End, man. Shout out to Bulls. Shout out to these guys for making my tattoos pop, man. It's an exciting time to be in the PFL. Everybody's showing love. June 10th, Bobby Moffitt's got me. I don't got nobody. Uncontrollable, untamed, unchained. Only thing I rock is golden rings. Hold on. We can keep it cordial. Or we can keep it gangster. It's really how you want to go about it. But then I heard him say he gonna take me out and make a million dollars. Now either I'm crazy or he's lying. I tame dogs. I know wolves need other wolves to eat. I'm a lion and a king, boy. You've seen many things, boy. You ain't never seen nothing like what you seen on this scene, boy. Everything I mean, boy, is coming from my team, boy. June 10th, tune in. Uh, it'll be a lot more fun down there. But we'll be down there on Thursday. Energy in the place, cutting weight. Give over. Energy all day for these guys. That's why you put a train in that room. That's behind closed doors when you have this. When I first started, I mean, it was all outdoors in the park training. Every time I fight now, I'll go back to my roots. Get the energy and get the vitamins. Why not? Got time for the fight. Pale Irishman I have. That was, felt great then, though, bro. Considering I'm not fucking eating or drinking or doing. I'm just flying through these rounds, mate. Yeah. Trying not to get too... After the last couple of kicks, you just take your first, like, like little breath, you know? Yeah. I'm trying, uh, I'm trying not to give away the real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's some real shit that I can't show you. That's extremely dangerous and highly classified. Like, if we told you, we'd have to kill you on the spot. Like, you, would make, you wouldn't make it out off the balcony, really. Straight over <laughs> with your camera. <laughs> Look, always so weird to put on. Okay, hands on your waist. Okay. Drop that left hand a little bit. And this is box of habit. Yeah, you gotta throw huh? technique out the window. Everybody thought when I came to May that I retired from boxing. So all the girls who didn't like me was like, oh, you scared of me. And it was like, uh. bitch, please. I would never retire for you. <laughs> to avoid you, at least. Like, no. At least in my worries, so. Did you watch those fights last night? Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> hilarious. One, uh, Logan was too fucking big to be in there with Floyd. Right. Let's just get it out the way. I mean, he came in looking like a Greek god, though. Yeah. I mean, like the way he was cut up. I mean, I really didn't expect that. I it thought it looked like he... Hulk Hogan coming in there. Yeah. You know, in, in Rocky Three with Hulk Hogan and, and, and Rocky were in the, in, the, in the ring together. I know, and I was looking. I just was like, I, I didn't know that he was built like that until when he came in there. I'm I mean, like, oh. Both, both jacked. Just in voice. And well, like six, seven, I've, I've, I've actually seen Jake in person, and yeah. I, I didn't think he was that jacked. Nah. Huh? He only a little bit. He ain't that much taller than me, okay. about like 5'11", but like he looks kind of like a little soft. Does like he? his brother looked ripped. Yeah, Logan's bigger. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he looked ripped though too. Like, yeah. I mean, he had solid packs, big arms, yeah. big back. He was crazy. But it was a, it was a good fight overall. Um, I, I, I don't think it should have been pay-per-view though, but no. they got to make their money how they got to make it. Um, you think Floyd kept him in the fight? You think he, he allowed him? I don't think, I don't think Floyd could have did. Could have done anything else. Could have knocked him out right. because they do he one. He's 35 pounds bigger. Yeah. He longer. He kept wrapping him up. Right. Yeah. And like he was a lot faster than what he showed in videos too. Yeah. Like 
Floyd said it. He was a lot better than what I than what I thought. Yeah. Cause he was just like measuring them up, trying to get that right hand off. But yeah, it was some parts of the fight where I thought they were holding each other, whispering to each other though. Yeah. I don't know if that was true or not, but it looked like it. Cause I was like, don't talk in the clinch, but giving each other cues. Something like, yeah. hey, move your head a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something. Smooth, dry, I'm just trying to be showtime, baby. I'm just trying to be showtime. <laughs> I've been in my room a lot more this time, honestly. Last time I was kind of like moving around and doing shit, training a little more, but I just caught up on sleep. I got, I got a kid due in like any day now, so like the anxiety of having that text message pop up and like getting ready for the fight and like getting ready for the play. Like, uh, all that stuff goes into it, but um, you know, it's part of, part of the game. So obviously it didn't go your way last time around at PFL 1. But you almost landed. You landed that head kick and that flying knee. You almost got it done. That was awesome. But um, are you gonna look for a quick six, a quick finish in this fight so you can get up and go to the playoffs? Yeah, hey, you know I'm, I'm gonna do it right. I'm, I'm gonna build up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on the basics. Um, this training camp, we we really focused in on my my footwork, my stance, my range control, on the things that that made me the dangerous fighter I am. So I'm gonna build that up first. And when I see the opportunity, for sure I'm going for it.